Steak and Shake is making a very big deal about a slice of cheese. Why? We'll try to figure that out next. Hello, Goblins and Goblins. Destined to be Goblin, Destined Goblin here. This is where I will try a food product of some kind, maybe something that you didn't even know existed, and I will decide whether or not I should give it my Destined Goblin seal of approval. <laughs> it is a very rainy day today, and I'm kind of parked under a tree, so if you hear some noises in the background, that's probably the rain and the leaves and little sticks that are falling uh, on the, the hood of my car. So um, just an FYI if you uh, hear some extra sounds back there. I am at Steak and Shake today, and Steak and Shake has, as I said, they've, they're making a, a big deal about a change that they have made to one of their burgers. They've always had a triple steak burger with cheese. It always had two slices of cheese on it. They've added a third slice of cheese. They've renamed it the Triple Triple Steak Burger, and... The, as I said, they're promoting this as a new item. So here it is right here. Basically, the only thing that has changed on this sandwich that Steak and Shake has always had is the fact that they have added that third slice of cheese. Now, I know that Steak and Shake has gone through some hard times. I know the chain overall has had some tough financial times. But, you know, if you want to lure customers back in, maybe come up with a brand new sandwich. Maybe kind of come up with a new taste overall, this seems like a, a, a cheap and, and quick way to try to attract some customers maybe that have left. I don't know. I still love Steak and Shake. I've liked this triple in the past. I do know that adding an extra slice of cheese when you have the meat and cheese ratio exactly the same, that does make a difference in the flavor. So we'll go ahead and see if this makes any difference here. I personally would have rather have seen them come out with a new flavor overall, maybe adding some new toppings to a burger or something like that, but we'll see. Um, I got this in the combo. I got some uh, cheese fries with that, and then I also got their shake because they did bring back their peppermint chocolate chip shake right now uh, for the winter. I don't know if you can see that very well in this particular um, cup, but this whole thing overall was about $12. You can get these as individual components, of course. And the whole thing overall is a little over 2,000 calories. So this is a very heavy meal here. But again, you can get these components separately. Let's give this a shot. Let's see what the flavor's like. I got everything on this. Got the pickle, got the mayo, got the mustard, got the onion, the lettuce, tomato, everything there. Let's see what the flavor's like. As I said, I do know that one more slice of cheese does make a difference when you have the ratio of meat to cheese the same. That definitely does make a flavor difference. And the reason that I know that is because that is the reason why I prefer the, the uh, double cheeseburger at McDonald's to, say, the McDouble or say the triple cheeseburger, which only has two slices of cheese on it. Um, when the ratio is off, when you have more meat, then you have cheese. You do get more of that meat flavor overall, but I like that balance between the meat and the cheese. Um, I have had this uh, triple steak burger before. I'm not 100% sure in this case that that extra slice of cheese is really doing that much more for this sandwich. All right, let me get a, a little sip here of this um, peppermint chocolate chip milkshake. Make sure I remember the flavor of this accurately. Steak and Shake has some of the thickest shakes that I have ever experienced. This is gonna take some doing. Almost need a thicker straw here. Maybe I can just kinda get a taste of it this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got a lot of peppermint flavor. 
Got some nice chunks of chocolate in there. Got the cherry on the top. They, Steak and Shake makes great shakes. I do love all of their shakes. Very creamy, super thick. It's a little bit cooler today. Not as hot down here in Florida, so the shake's not melting as quickly. And it's uh, staying pretty firm inside the cup. Lots of chunks of the uh, the peppermint in there. The, uh, the, the, the peppermint candy pieces kind of ground up in there. Very nice. Good job on the shake. Let's take another bite out of the uh, burger here. Continue on a little bit. It's very appropriately messy, I will say that. A couple thoughts on this. This is actually a hard one because I do like the sandwich. I've always liked the triple steak burger at Steak and Shake. I think overall it's a three-star seal of approval. And I think the addition of the extra slice of cheese in this case, I personally like that because it does balance out the ratio of the patty and the cheese. I've always felt that if, you, if you're making a cheeseburger, if you have a, a, cheese, a, a burger patty there, Put a cheese on, put a slice of cheese on for every patty that you're going to add to that burger. I've always liked that. But in this case, I don't know that this warrants the hoopla that Steak and Shake has made over this. Making a big deal about changing the name, adding this slice of cheese. It's basically the same sandwich with just another slice of cheese on it. So because of that, still a good burger. I still like it. I'm going to give it a two-star seal of approval, even though I do think that it's a three-star sandwich overall. Just in this particular case, this little marketing ploy that they have, we'll just give that two stars. Okay, there we go. If you are a fan of Steak and Shake, if you like the Triple Steak Burger, it is now called the Triple Triple. And that is because there are now three patties, three slices of cheese. So check that out. If you want a good burger, go to Steak and Shake. All their stuff is great. I do love all of their burgers. I have no problem with Steak and Shake overall. Just think this marketing ploy is a little bit weird. Check that out if you would like, and I will catch you next time.